Okay, start as orders, hurdles final. This is race 34, it's over two mile four furlongs, it's a 0 to 160. So number one is Play Hurt for Obi-Wan, the favourite. Second is Deputy Dan for Graham Clutterbuck. Three, Hit the North Leon. Four, Nameless Horror Moilets. Five, Calypso Buddha Moilets. Six, Summer Sun for Kevin Meanahan. Seven, Horseshoe Ben for Carl Arrogante. Eight, Lots of Credit, Carl Arrogante. Nine, Wheatfield Soul for Martin Leedham. Ten, Kingdom Come for Adam Ald. Eleven, Tribago James Follis. Twelve, K-Rock Alex Cherry. Thirteen, King's Colour for Alex Cherry. And Fourteen is Pitch Fever for Carl Arrogante. Uh, good luck, guys. You had to qualify for this one. Fourteen of them. And they're away here at Aintree. This is my penultimate commentary for the year. Oh, we'll wait for them to settle now. They'll have 12 hurdles to negotiate. And it's Nameless Horror that's going to lead with King's Colour as they take the flight together. Everybody's safely over it. So King's Colour and Nameless Horror lead us. From uh, Calypso Buddha, hit the north, K-Rock. Deputy down on the inside. One even further inside is Wheatfield Soul as they come to the second hurdle. Everybody's over it. Lots of familiar, similar colours here. So if I get confused, don't shout at me. So they go into the third flight. Everybody's over it again. It's still Nameless Horror and King's Colour. It's going to now lead them off out on the circuit to go. From Wheatfield Soul in third. Then we've got to Deputy Dan. The outside of those are lots of credit. Calypso, Buddha and K-Rock. One against the fence in the light silks is Summer Sun. Outside of that is Tribago. And then followed through by Horseshoe Ben, Pitch Fever, Kingdom Come and Play Hurt. So everybody's over the fourth. And it's Nameless Horror that's gone off into the lead by a couple of lengths on his own now. From King's Colour in second. Deputy Dan and Wheatfield Soul. Well, I hope you've had a good season, guys. And it's been an uh, interesting season. We've had lots of... Uh, Lots of forum discussions about anything and everything. Hopefully we'll put a few of the few of the ideas into practice for next year. I'll say all this now because uh, I think my last commentary is uh, the National Hunt Flat Race, so I won't have time to waffle on. But it's Nameless Horror that leads still. They take the six, jumps it okay. Slow jump from King's Colour in second. He's already just put himself back into the rest of the pack. Here's the view from the grandstand crowd here. Hooray, hooray, go on. I'm not sure what they say, but Nameless Horror takes them past the finishing line for the first time. Next time round will be the winning line and the checkered flag. So it's still Nameless Horror. A few getting caught wide here as usual on this entry bent. And some of those are like Play Hurt, the favourite. As we come down to eye level, it's still Nameless Horror from King's Colour. Then we've got Deputy Dan, Wheatfield Soul and Tribago. Now followed through by the Grey K-Rock. Then we've got Summer Sun, Pitch Fever, Horseshoe Bend, Calypso Buddha. Out wide, then there's lots of credit. Play Hurt against the fence. Hit the Northern Kingdom come at the rear in the blue silks. So it's Nameless Horror now, just by half a length to King's Colour. Then we've got a length back to Wheatfield Soul and Deputy Dan. And a further length back to Tribago and K-Rock. So as they come up to this next, we're inside the final mile now. This is the seventh flight. Everybody skips over it nicely. Nameless Horror. Just noses again in front. But King's Colour. Jockey pushes him along. Wants to go two by two here. As they go over the eighth, they jump it both together. We're getting a much closer order now. Wheatfield Soul got himself a little bit blocked in against the, the rail and the horse in front. The outside of that is Deputy Dan. They take their ninth. Everything, everybody's over it. And they're all fairly closely bunched up here. Anything could still win this. We've got five and a half furlongs left to travel. And still three flights to negotiate. So it's King's Colour and Nameless Horror. They've been there since the beginning. Still leading. On the outside is K-Rock. Then we've got Deputy Dan. Again, got no room. Outside of Deputy Dan is Calypso Buddha. The one on the inside is Tribago. They take the tenth. Everybody jumps it well. Deputy Dan was slow and didn't himself back down but Nameless Horror now under a little bit of pressure from K-Rock. K-Rock in second, King's Colour third, one on the outside is Play Hurt, the favourite, making up some good ground but going a little bit wide but it's Nameless Horror, put under pressure now by K-Rock. K-Rock and Play Hurt, these two look like they're going to start to progress but a little bit of work from Nameless Horror still plugging on and trying to hang on to his position but it's K-Rock that starts to pull away here, we've only got two flights to take and just over two furlongs left to run, they take the 11th, they're all over it and it's K-Rock and play hurt, but anything could win this nameless horror. Deputy Dan, they're all plugging on, 
but K Rock Jockey is pushing him again and he starts to take a lead. He gets over it but takes it slow. Here we inside the final furlong. It's a race to the finish. It's K Rock from Lots of Credit. Calypso Buddha. Lots of Credit starts to push ahead. Here comes Lots of Credit. Calypso Buddha. It's these two. Nameless Horror still plugging on. Summer Sun trying to make up some ground, but Calypso Buddha just pulls away at the finishing line. From Lots of Credit in second. Anything could have won that. The final furlong on a flat. Two that pretty much travelled out wide. Summer Sun had done well there as well. From his position. So it's Calypso Buddha that takes it. Second is Lots of Credit. Third is Nameless Horror. I think that's double Moilets. And it is Calypso Buddha for Moilets. Well done. Second was Lots of Credit for Carl Arroganti. Third was Nameless Horror for Moilet Surfer. Fourth was Summer Sun for Kevin Meanham. Fifth was Kingdom Come for Adam Ald. So just one more com to go.